Hi everyone, welcome back to the Vision Refocus channel where we discuss all things eye health and vision related. I'm Dr. Kevin Cornwell, and today I want to discuss what it's like to be an optometrist seeing patients in a correctional setting. No, I don't think all eye doctors should go to prison, but I do think working in a correctional setting can be a very rewarding career path for the right doctor. We're going to go back to 2015 and look at one of the first jobs I took as an optometrist where I rotated through several state prisons to provide eye care. Practicing optometry and delivering eye care in prison revealed a side of healthcare to me that most people aren't fully aware of. It was a great learning opportunity that also allowed me to get on my feet professionally. Let's jump right in. So optometrists today have so many different career paths available to them. One that's less conventional and often overlooked is to provide eye care in one of our country's many correctional institutions. I was surprised to find that many of these facilities offer a full spectrum of on-site healthcare services, including eye care. Initially, many people may be intimidated at the idea of working with incarcerated men and women. Institutions are typically classified on a scale of one through four based on the types of offenses of inmates occupying these facilities. Most of the prisons I worked in housed nonviolent lower level offenders and I never felt unsafe or vulnerable. I also worked closely with a nurse or correctional officer at all times. You might be surprised to know that optometrists in correctional settings can practice full scope optometry. They perform comprehensive eye exams and manage a whole host of ocular disease. They also order imaging and lab work as well as manage cases with outside ophthalmologists including surgical post-ops. I definitely saw more patients with urgent and interesting eye problems in prison than I did on the outside. Another neat thing I did was give lectures to diabetic focus groups about the risks of retinopathy and blindness with diabetes, which I really enjoyed. These facilities typically receive state and federal funding to support one or several comprehensive health center type buildings. Given the multidisciplinary setup of these, optometrists usually have full access to a patient's medical history through electronic health records. Facilities that need optometrists will likely already have a fully furnished exam room, sometimes with pre-testing machines like autorefractor, NCT, and visual field. I've even seen some facilities with OCTs and fundus cameras as well. And as far as glasses go, some states have optical labs set up in their prisons to provide glasses for Medicaid patients. These same programs typically provide glasses for incarcerated individuals as well. If you're trying to set up an eye clinic in a correctional setting and no option exists for getting glasses, you could check with the Lions Club or your state's commission for the blind to see what they can offer. Other larger companies in the eye care industry also typically have nonprofit programs where patients can get free glasses as well. There's several benefits for optometrists working in correctional settings, which include flexible schedules and competitive pay. And since private insurance companies aren't being billed for our services, optometrists don't need to worry about dealing with the red tape that comes with private insurance companies. Billing and credentialing with insurance, as most of you know, could take several months and cause a lot of headaches and confusion. This is especially great news for new grad optometrists who may be looking to find a job soon after graduation, but can't afford to wait the several months it takes to get credentialed with private insurance plans. From my experience, I found that most facilities were very flexible with my schedule, even if it was just a day or two a week. The hourly pay scale was also much higher than a commercial or private office could offer as well. And I'd also receive stipends for travel and lodging when I'd work further from home. In some states, inmates are able to train to be volunteer firefighters or other public service workers in exchange for reducing their sentence. Many of these people were required to have eye exams prior to leaving for fire camp, which also kept my schedule busy. Inmates also typically spend their time in the library, at church, playing sports, or taking high school and college coursework in exchange for an earlier release date as well. Another neat thing I realized working in a correctional setting was that through my role as an eye care provider, I was able to eliminate poor vision as a barrier to rehabilitation and recovery for these people. I feel that many optometrists would be surprised to find how fulfilled they are both professionally and personally working with this patient population. To learn more about optometry jobs in correctional settings in your area, a good place to start is by searching your state's Department of Corrections website. They can give you a rundown on opportunities and job listings at various facilities. I also found that networking with other optometrists and healthcare professionals in my area was a big help in learning about these opportunities as well. If your nearest correctional facility doesn't currently provide eye care services, this may be a great opportunity to start an optometry service from the ground up if you're so inclined. So there you have it. I hope this video provided some more information on what optometry is like in a correctional setting. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. For more optometry related content, please check out the other videos on our channel and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.